today we are going to discuss the osteonecrosis of femoral head part 2 here we are going to discuss mainly the investigations and the classification system firstly if a patient presents to us with uh, hip pain and we are strongly suspecting osteonecrosis or avn of the hip we get plane radiograph that is ap of the affected hip and the lateral view that is the fro frog lateral view these show the early changes of ischemia that are bone marrow which cannot be detected until and unless three months since the initial insult or the first signs of ischemia are seen and the reactive newborn formation are mainly seen as sclerosis of the margins and sclerotic bone changes the thin tangential fracture line just below the articular surface is commonly known as the present sign here we can appreciate and the late collapse and the distortion of the articular surface the MRI scan is said to be 99% sensitive and it uh, gives us the size of the necrotic segment as a hypointense band on the T1 based MRI. The classical signs that are described are the internal trap fat sign and the double line sign which are classic for a vascular necrosis of femoral head. Here is a comparison of the plane radiograph and an MRI shown at the same uh, sta uh, disease progress stage. In plane radiograph there is no, uh, we can appreciate that no disease is seen but on the MRI there is a sinister process that is happening and necrosis of the femoral head that has progressed quite a lot. CT scan helps us in assessing the disease and the articular deformity calcification and bone collapse and central sclerosis of femoral head is shown as the asterisk sign. If there is more than 2 mm of articular deformity it is said to be a worse prognosis. The radiological uh, scanning uh, is used by uh, 99 technetium sulfur colloid scan. This is only of historical significance. Initially, during the staging, st uh, when staging systems were devised, these were used, but now it is not routinely done. It was useful in traumatic vascular necrosis and in sickle cell disease, where cold areas, in contrast to a high uh, nucleate uptake, is uh, seen in increased erythroblastic activity, and it is uh, shows a classical donut sign. Invasive procedures such as the jump shedding needle biopsy or the intraosseous uh, pressure measurement have been described although but these are not necessary to make a diagnosis. Now the classification system, there have been uh, the essential factors that predict the worst uh, prognosis are the four uh, factors. These are the uh, post collapse, the single large necrotic lesion, more than 2 millimeters of femoral head depression or the acetabular involvement. No single system has been uh, able to give the sole guide for treatments and there has been a high observer variability and there are 12 major classification systems, 5 of which accounted for approximately 80% citations. The Fiketalate devised in 1980 uh, had 5 initial stages wherein 0 uh, showed a silent hip and stage 1 had no radiological signs but the patient had subtle loss of clarity and blurring of the trabecular pattern with slight patchy osteoporosis. The diagnosis was mainly based on the MRI or intraosseous present measurement. Later, stage 0 was removed. Stage 2 showed early signs of reactive changes in the subchondral area and further divided into A being a diffuse or localized osteoporosis and sclerosis and stage 2B showing the classic crescent sign. Stage 3 showed structural damage and distortion of the bony outline with sequestrum and the break in the femoral head articular cartilage and decrease in the joint space. Stage 4 showed both femoral head and the articular surface of the acetabulum involvement. The drawbacks of this system was no measurement of lesion and no measurement of the articular surface involvement and it is not a sensitive indicator of the progression. Next came the Marcus Enikin and Massam staging who used the patient symptoms and examination and the gross and histological findings in uh, their staging system which was later modified by Enikin using the MRI for quantitative measurements. Sogioka devised a classification system wherein he uh, described the extent of the lesion percentage of the femoral head based on the ratio of the necrotic and the intact articular uh, surface. This was the first uh, grading which uh, guided us towards the management. Sogioka also devised the rotational osteotomy and this was an important predictor for the outcome. The amount of intact articular surface available for weight bearing after rotation of femoral head could be decided based on this. Later, University of Pennsylvania devised their uh, classification system using the MRI and bone scans, wherein seven criteria were devised and further subdivided into A mild, B moderate, and C severe lesions. 
the normal hip and mri findings that is stage 0 and 1 often had contralateral hip involvement and these were patients with risk factors and hip pain next carbol devised a uh, prognostic indicator whether the patient can be salvaged just based on the decompression surgery or does he need uh, hip replacement uh, requirement this was based on the necrotic area which was combined both on ap and lateral and the sum of the necrotic area was said to be significant if it is more than 200 degrees and uh, this could not be salvaged by a simple de uh, decompression procedure steinberg uh, devised his necrotic lesion as a percentage of grading into mild moderate and severe lesion then came the japanese investigation committee who devised uh, the modification of the ficket tablet staging and they used stage 2 and 3 and subdivided it into three groups stage 1 with demarcation further divided into a inferior uh, involvement b is the central involvement c is the superior involvement type 2 had diffuse involvement of the femoral head type 3 had subchondral cyst formation these were important predicting the uh, greater chance of collapse the drawbacks were this was a lesser accurate uh, system than device and it failed to reflect the pathophysiology the main uh, classification system that we need to be aware is the association research circulation osseus that is commonly known as the arco system wherein in 1991 an uh, international committee was uh, devised to determine the uniform terminology and set the diagnostic criteria and classification system uh, to guide the physicians worldwide and here this is a combination of the existing systems that is the ficket tablet staging university of pennsylvania and japanese uh, staging the stage initially had seven uh, classification that is stage 0 asymptomatic stage 1 with symptoms of, uh, but signs showing only on mri stage 2 had radiological evidence of sclerosis but further the stage 0 was removed on further uh, modification of the arco grading stage 3 had crescent sign and uh, stage 4 had collapse of uh, femoral head but the modification combined both these stages into uh, stage 3 having subchondral fracture and flattening of the femoral head with less than 2 uh, mm as a and more than 2 mm as b stage uh, initial stage 5 had osteonecrosis of acetabular sclerosis and stage 6 has extensive destruction but later these were combined into single stage with evidence of osteoarthritis and joint space narrowing uh, with degenerative acetabular changes which was more practical for clinical and research related application the drawbacks of this current arco grading is no separate category for hip with crescent sign without femoral head flattening has been devised 